Hello YouTubers and welcome to the Rotten 1279 channel on the September 7th of 2014. Now I will say this, incidentally I will not be on Skype on Sunday because I'm going to a NASCAR race. So I won't be here next Sunday. Now, but this Sunday we'll be doing our Pressure Up Showdown and it's going to still be a three player game. We have Nick Bishop in the first position. Then we have Ben Mason with a two-game winnings total of fifty-eight thousand dollars. Yeah, fifty-eight thousand dollars. And then we have Aubrey Scott. Yes, sir. And in the audience, we have Matt. One, two, three. Yeah, but you did your best, though. And then Steve Kurbrowski. And then we have Cameron Henry. And if y'all three are ready, let's play Pressure Luck. The DVD game. I have to go over the rules, y'all know how to play it, so. Now Ben, if he wins 17 more thousand dollars, he's automatically into the tournament. But of course he has to win the game. Get ready to play what could be the most exciting game of your life. Live in your own living room, it's time to press your luck. And now, here is your host, the star of Press Your Luck on DVD, Todd Newton. And I'll be watching him later for Family and Game Night. Welcome to Press Your Luck. Okay, do a three-player game. And the questioning okay, will start here we with go you, with round one. For three Player one, are you ready? You get to answer the first question for a chance at three spins. In 1869, when the first transcontinental railroad was completed at Promontory Summit, Utah, what cryptic telegraphic message went out? Okay, this is for three spins, Nick. When the first transcontinental railroad was completed, what message went out? Was it last spike in, done, or east and west are one? You're going with the last spike in, okay. All right, player two, for a chance um, at one spin, what's your ben, answer? what do you think? Okay, he's going with the last spike in, and all three. What will it be, player three? A correct answer here adds one spin to your total. The last spike in, done, or east and west are one. Okay, Aubrey's going with East and West are one. Okay. Okay, folks, let's see let's how see. many spins you all scored for question number it? one. All of y'all well, was like wrong. It's all done. Obviously. Now over okay, to you, well, player two. It's we'll your try to answer with this question first and you, pick up those three big spins. The actors of the MASH television series won countless awards, but which cast member won Emmys for writing, directing, and acting? And this um, question is based on the show MASH, uh, Ben. Okay, for three spins, which cast member won Emmys for writing, directing, and acting? Is it Jamie Farr, Alan Alda, or Mike Farrell? Alan Alda. He's going with Alan Alda. Aubrey, what do you think? What will it be, player three? A correct answer here adds one spin to your total. Okay, Aubrey's saying Alan Alder and um and Nick, what do you think? Alan Alder. Okay. Everybody wants to Alan Alder. Answer the and question correctly, right. and you will score let's see if one spin. All right. So, how did you all do? Let's check the results for question number two. 
Yes, it is out Everybody on all this. So ben gets three spins, Good work, and the team. rest of you get one spin. And this is the last First question this of this question round. Is player number three. Get it right. And those three and spins go to you all are all yours. A three spin question. Bart and Lisa Simpson's yeah. principal at Springfield Elementary is Seymour Skinner. Who were their teachers? Okay, now you know Bart and Lisa Simpson's principal was Seymour Skinner, Aubrey, right? Okay, who was the teachers? Who was Bart and Lisa Simpson's teachers at Springfield Elementary for three spins? Is it Mr. Grimson and Mrs. Sabas, Ms. Witchley? and Mr. Flanders, or Mrs. Krabapo, or excuse me, Mrs. Krabapo, and Ms. Hoover? I think it's the first one. Mr. Grims, Mr. Grimson and Ms. Sourpuss? I think so, but I'm not 100% Okay, he's going with Mr. Grimson and Ms. Sourpuss. Okay, player one, now um, it's your turn. Nick, Answer what the do you question think? correctly, and you will score one spin. Mrs. Krabappel and Mrs. Kubler, okay. And uh, All right, what do you think, Elvin? What's your answer? Spin, what's your answer? Ms. Krabappel and Ms. Hoover, okay. And I believe... Well, my head's spinning. Yeah. Let's see how you scored on question three. I believe uh, Ben and Nick are right. That is right, yes. Looks like someone missed spin, out. Ben and Nick. Let's move on. Okay, now we're off to the big board. Well, it's good and bad, player three. You have Everyone the least start with number you of all spins, because you have one spin. That means you're first to press your luck. Come on. So, the as you know, spins are worth anywhere from 250 to $2,000 in this round. And if y'all have fear of the whammies, y'all can pass your spins. And as y'all know, okay, four whammies you've got put one you spin game, and okay? no whammies. Are you going to press your luck or pass? And we're going to start with you all, but with that one spin. Are you ready to use that spin to hit the board? Good luck. Stop at a whammy. I got hit by me. I kiss your kiss goodbye. <laughs> we got that one whammy out of the way. Now we're moving on to Nick. Whammy number one. Bad luck, player. Let me three. cut down the TV a little bit so I can hear y'all. Okay, player one, it's your turn. It's way too... Okay, and he's going to spin. Good luck, Nick. How about $1,000? $1,000. Not bad. All right, Nick, you got $1,000. You have one spin to go. What's your score? What do you want to do? One. Here we go. Okay, you have a choice, Nick. Do you want five hundred dollars in the spin or fifteen hundred dollars? Fifteen hundred dollars. Fine. And you at twenty five hundred dollars. Good job, Nick. Here's your score, player one. And now we go to you, Ben, our champ, with four spins. Player two, you are up next. Okay, one sec. All right, go ahead, Ben. How about a bicycle? Hope you're feeling fit. You'll be riding home and on that your new 10-speed racing bike. Valued at two hundred and fifty dollars. Yep. Now you have uh, that prize worth two fifty. Let's let this go by, and I will ask you, what do you want to do, score, Ben? Score, player two. Here we go. How about a trip to Mexico? Congratulations! You'll be spending a weekend in sunny Mexico with three that trip to Mexico is worth five hundred dollars. At five hundred dollars. So you're at seven fifty. We're gonna wait a little bit. Let this play through. And what's your next decision, Ben? Here's your score, player two. Okay, go ahead. Stop at another bicycle. Hope you're feeling fit. You'll be riding home on your new 10-speed yep. racing bike valued at $250. Yes, you do. And you have one spin left. You're still in second place. Let's let this... I can't win in second place. Let's run. Okay, one second. Here's your score, player two. Okay, this, this is the last spin. Go ahead, Ben. 
Stop at W dollars, okay. We've just doubled your total. So you're at $2,000, Ben, but uh, you're Here's still in second score. place, so Wait, the round is over. So Nick is in the lead after that round, and we're off to round two. Let's head into round two now. And player one, you get to answer first. And Nick, you're first, first to ask your spin. answer for your three spin question. Here it is. Which of these is London's major airport? Is it Heathrow, Gatwick, or perhaps Stansted? Okay, this is for our three spins, Nick. And the question is, which of these is London's major airport? Is it Heathrow, Gatwick, or Stansted? Stansted. He's going with Stansted, okay? Ben, what do you say? For a chance to win one spin, player two, it's okay, over to you. Ben is going with Heathrow. Let me move this along here. Heathrow and uh, Aubrey. Player three, it's your turn. Answer the question correctly. Aubrey is going with Heathrow. Yeah, I'm, I'm right. You said Heathrow. Okay. That's it for the first question of round two. Now, let's see how many spins let's you see. managed to pick up. And Ben and Aubrey is right, so each of y'all get a spin. Let's move on. Okay, now we go to you, Ben, for three spins. those very important three spins. Okay, let's see the question. Kyushu is one of the islands of Japan, and so are two of the following. Which one doesn't belong? Okay, for three spins, Ben, which is not an island of the of Japan? Which is not an island of Japan? Is it Hokkaido, Kyoko, or Honshu? Well, you put a brain buster to me, huh? Yep. Honshu! He's going with Honshu for three spins, hopefully. And Aubrey, what do you say? Player three, it's your turn. Answer the question correctly, and you've got yourself another spin. Okay, you saying Kyoku? He's going with Kyoku. And um, Nick, Player what do you one, say? Paying attention. Your chance to answer that question correctly now for one spin. He's going with Kyoku. Okay, let's see who's right on this. The answers are all in. Let's see if you got it right. It's Kyoku, it's right? So Nick down. gets one spin, and Aubrey gets one spin. Let's see. And this is the last question of this round, and it goes to you, Aubrey. If you answer this correctly. The American Film Institute has named which character as the greatest movie hero of the 20th century? Okay, for three spins, Aubrey. Let's let this music go by. The American Film Institute named which character as the greatest movie hero of the 20th century. Is it Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Attica Finch, To Kill a Mockingbird, or James Bond, Dr. No? Um, if I were to take a guess, I would say Indiana Jones, but I'm only guessing. Okay, he's going with Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark, okay. Player Nick, one, what do you think? Attention. Your chance to answer that question correctly now for one spin. Okay, he's going with Attica Finch to kill a mockingbird. And Ben, what do you for say? For a chance to win one spin, player two, it's over to you. Okay, he's guessing. Okay, he's just guessing. Attica Finch to kill a mockingbird, and let's see who's right. Okay, now let's see how many spins you picked up that time around. It is added to the spin, so each of y'all two get a spin. All right, so all y'all got two spins in that round, and we're going to go down the line, and we're going to start with you, Nick. Because you have two spins, you have $2,500 in two spins, Nick. Do you want to hit the board or pass? I'm going to hit the board. Good luck. Stop at a whammy. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Oh, bad luck, player. All right, Nick, that's your first whammy, but you have one spin left to go. What do you want to do? I'm going to go for it. Last spin of this round. Here we go. How about a thousand dollars? Okay. Thousand dollars. You got a thousand dollars, Nick. And now we go to Here's you, Ben. You have one. two thousand um, dollars and two spins to work player with. Two. You ready? Ooh, right. up next. All right, here we go. Let's talk about a motorcycle. Saddle up. Yeah, a lot of prizes, the freedom man. of the open road on your new motorcycle. Worth $2,500. That motorcycle is $2,500, Ben. You had uh, $4,500. Yes. You had $4,500 worth of cash two. and prizes. Uh, you want to hit the board or pass that last spin. Okay. You've got one spin and no Good way. luck. Stop at a trip to Las Vegas. Join the high rollers in Las Vegas. Including show tickets and spending money, this prize is worth $3,000. that trip to Las Vegas is worth $3,000. So you had, you had $7,500 worth of cash and prizes. Here's your score. So you're in the lead Here's right it. now. Now we go to you, Aubrey. You have two spins, but you have one whammy. What do you want to do, Aubrey? Good luck. Stop at $2,500 in the spin, okay. And to spin. So you go to second place at $2,500. You still have Here's two spins on, player three. What do you want to do? Go ahead. Stop at a whammy. Okay, Aubrey, you have your second Double whammy. Trouble. No That's dollars, one spin to go, three. what's your pleasure? Okay, now you have one spin again. and two whammies. Think about it. Good luck. How about diamond ring? For a special lady, this two carat solitaire diamond ring will add some sparkle. Valued at $5,000. And that diamond $5, ring is worth $5,000, Aubrey. So you're in second place. So, so Ben, you're in the lead with $7,500 worth of prizes. So you'll be Here's going first score, in the three. third and final round, Ben, which is important. Round three, coming right up. Boy, this is getting interesting. Player one. Now you said it for me, Dan. You get to answer first for a chance at three spins. Remember, that's how Mark got a yellow card. All right, here we go, Nick. Malagra is a deficiency disease, an agricultural pest, with a chemical okay. of a vitamin. And, uh, and um, somebody might want to type this in for me. Uh, MC Chat might want to type this in for me. The question for three spins, Nick, what is Pellagra? That's P-E-L-L-A-G-R-A. -L -L Pellagra. Is it a deficiency disease, an agricultural pest, or the chemical name of a vitamin? Hmm. I think it's a disease. He's going with a deficiency disease. Ben, what do you say? You're thinking cap on player two. What's your answer for a chance to pick up one spin? Okay, a deficiency disease in Aubrey. Player three, let's get a move on here. There's one spin for you if you get it right. He's going with a deficiency disease. Let's see if all of y'all are right. We're into the home stretch. Let's see how many spins you scored for question one. It is a deficiency disease. Scores. Nick gets Good three spins team. and the rest of you get one. Your turn first, player two. Give us the right answer and you've hit a triple. All right, three Ben, you're up next. We'll this for three spin. spins. On the British sitcom Absolutely Fabulous, who delivered the line, I never knew my This father. is about uh, British sitcoms, uh, Ben. Let's let this music go by. 
on the British sitcom Ab Absolutely Fabulous, who said, I never knew my father, my mother, only knew him fairly briefly. Was it Patsy, Edina, or Bobo? He's going Patsy. I'll be with you three, Let's get a move on here. There's one spin for you if you get it right. What'd you say? Okay, she's he's saying Edina. And Nick, what do you so, say? Player one, let's have your answer for a chance. To okay, Nick spin. is going with Edina. We got two Edinas and one Patsy. No bubble. Let's see who's right. You need spins to get big bucks. So let's see how many you all picked up that time. We've got one player. Ben, you're right. You got three spins, Ben. With a zilch. <laughs> it's round three, player three. Okay, you last question of this game. The correct answer to this question. And it goes to you, Aubrey. Which breed of dog was originally bred for hunting lions? Okay, this is for three spins. Let's let this music go by. For three spins, which breed of dog was originally bred for hunting lions, Aubrey? Was it the pit bull, the Rottweiler, or the Rhodesian Ridgeback? I'm gonna guess the Rottweiler. He's going with the Rottweiler. Uh, Nick, what do you say? Player one, let's have your answer for a chance to win the pit bull or the Rhodesian Ridgeback. Rottweiler, okay. And uh, Ben. Get your thinking cap on, player two. What's your answer? Ben's for going Rottweiler. Let's see if all of you guys are right. right. That's question three, all done. So, how many spins did you pick up? Let's find out. No, it's not a Rottweiler, so all of y'all are wrong. And we're going to the final big board and which spins are worth anywhere from $2,500 to $10,000. So whoever gets the most money here will be the winner and be the champion, okay? And Ben, you have $7,500 mostly in prizes. You have four spins, no whammies. What do you want to do? No whammies. Why not press your luck and spin? Good luck. Stop at six thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. That's not bad at all. Okay, Ben, you're at thirteen thousand five hundred dollars. Three Here spins to go. go. What's your Play pleasure? Go. He's going for it. Good luck. Yeah. Stop at two thousand five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars to your total. Okay, Ben, you're at sixteen thousand dollars. Two spins. Here's your two score. spins to go. Play what two. do you want to do? Good luck. Stop at $10,000. That's a good spin and big bucks. Ben, you're at $26,000. And you have one spin to go. What do you want to do? I thought you might do that. It goes to Aubrey. Nice run, Ben. Okay, player three, it's your turn. Okay. Yeah, Aubrey, two, now you have two spins two, to work two, with, Aubrey. Two you have $5,000 and two whammies. What's your pleasure, Aubrey? I saw, go for it. Good luck. Stop at $7,000. 7000 bucks to your total. Okay. You had 12. Aubrey, you had twelve thousand dollars. Here's your score. Now you need something with an additional spin to possibly catch him. What's your pleasure? Okay, now you have one spin and two whammies. Good luck. No whammy. Stop at ten thousand dollars. That's a good spin and big bucks. Yeah, twenty thousand dollars. Score, player three. You tried, Aubrey. Nice try at it. Okay, player one, it's your turn. Now, Nick, you have a thousand dollars, 
And you have three spins to work with, Nick. What do you want to do? Three spins and one whammy. Things good luck. Right here. Stop at nine thousand dollars. Picked up a big nine thousand dollars. Okay, Nick, you have ten thousand dollars now, and you have two spins left. With you, what's your pleasure? Good luck. Thank you. Stop, right now. Stop at a compact Get car. Motor running in a new car. Valued at $9,000. And that compact you car is worth $9,000. Now, Nick, no that $19,000 is the situation. You need to get at least $7,000 to catch Ben up. Anything Here's more than $7,000, and Nick, you become the new champion. Or you can pass your spin With to Ben Mason, and, and he would and he would have to take that spin. If he wins out, then Aubrey will be a friend to you for life. So, what do you want to do, Nick? I feel like I'm in the gamble. I'm gonna go. Good luck, Nick. Let's see who's gonna win. Stop at seven thousand dollars. That means we got co-champions. Nick and Ben. Player one, this is your total. So it's a tie. Twenty-six thousand each. So we have co-champions, and we're going to come back and talk about talk to our two winners right after this. It does go away. And remember, the side of that whammy can make your hands all clammy. Who wrote that?